The internet has become obsessed with making a murderer. Making a murderer. Making a murderer. Making a murderer. The hit Netflix show about a man falsely imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. And then again, well, no spoilers. Was framed. Coerced confession of really victimized Can I ask kid. You and something? I'm not, I'm not talking. But one voice was noticeably absent from the series. That of the prosecutor in the case, Ken Kratz, who, since the show aired in December, has received tons of hate mail. Do you understand how much of a piece of shit you are? You are. You're. But who would end a sentence with like an apostrophe? You fat fuck with low self esteem. That's right. How yeah. does he know your self esteem? I don't know, but you're a grammar Nazi, which is kind of cool. I like that. Uh... Like and the you. Nazi part or the grammar part? No, the, the grammar part. I... So what did the villain of this hit Netflix show have to say for himself? I was a dick. Uh, some of that was bravado that uh, was necessary for yeah. the presentation of the case, but some of that was me. And I think it's important that people understand um, that I'm not that person mm -hmm. anymore. Like if you could have done anything differently, what would you have done? There was a press conference I had in uh, March 2nd of 2006 after Brendan Dassey was charged is I was basically reading from Dassey's criminal complaint to uh, tell the the um, general public the the public's right to know uh, that's why we're allowed to to release that kind of information and uh, what I would do now um, much differently than I did then was simply release the written uh, criminal complaint. During the filming you served the filmmakers a subpoena alleging that they were acting as Stephen's defense arm. I did. If the case was so cut and dry, why would you think that they would pose a threat? If they were acting by and for Stephen Avery, which, by the way, wasn't just my perception. It was all of the uh, kind of mainstream media's perception. And so if they're not part of the media, then they're witnesses. A lot of people think the police also played a, a role in tampering the evidence or that there was any remote chance that they had anything to do with it. Are That's you a fantastic question and let me... Have other let, reporters asked you that? Let me tell you why. Um, uh, not so much. It just, just, just you who has is, is, is been, been really right, right uh, on, on the ball here. The first um, three weeks of criticism that I received on emails on the internet um, kind of went like this. Uh, Ken, um, you're a piece of shit, and Stephen Avery is innocent. How dare you convict him? About a week ago, or a week and a half ago maybe, that um, narrative changed to um, Ken, you're a piece of shit, which didn't change. Um, and although Stephen Avery may be guilty, we still think the cops may have been involved where he deserves another trial. How do you explain the tampered blood? Uh, the tube starts. If you ever give blood, you'll see these tubes I do give blood. that are, are sitting there. Okay. But even if you have a blood test, uh, the top tubes. Typo positive. Sorry. I'm sorry? Typo positive. The um, purple top tubes have to be filled up somehow. When they're sitting by the phlebotomist, they're empty, right? Mm -hmm. The blood gets in there through a needle through a needle going through the top of the purple top tube. It's no more complicated than that. The lawyers knew that there was a nurse uh, who um, was interviewed. A report was done. She said, yeah, I was the one that put that hole in the tube. Nothing secret about this at all. What's the nurse's name? Um, uh, she just died, oh, so I should convenient. know this. Um, yeah, but but there's uh, but they knew about it. The point is that they they um, uh, abandoned the claim. Has anything positive come out of the Netflix documentary for you? Absolutely. I've got in the opportunity. Look, I'm a defense attorney now. I I'm in private practice now, and as a defense attorney, um, I've got more in common with Dean Strang and Jerry Buting than I do with the state of Wisconsin right now. So you would want people watching the documentary to see you as a Dean Strang character? No, no, no. I don't want to be Dean Strang. Uh, I want to be Ken Kratz. So who is Ken Kratz? To find out, we move to a more intimate setting. For the first 35 years of my life, I was a Leo. Huh. And then, 
they decided that July 23rd was really in cancer instead so of Leo. So you're a cancer. Stop. Have you gotten any admirers from the show? No. Even Ted Bundy had admirers. I understand that. I'm not Ted Bundy. I'm not nearly as charming as he is. Do you think your lack of likability cock-blocked your case? Well, the, 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 the merits of the case should have been what was uh, portrayed and that my personality uh, should not have ever factored into whether people thought that this man was innocent or guilty. Mm -hmm. Dean Strang, Jerry Buting, yourself. Fuck, Mary kill. Okay. Do you want me to go first, or do you want to go first? No, I know your answers already, especially answers? with Dean Strang. I mean, it's just, it's pathetic, really, the, the, the stars that go in your eyes when you talk about Dean Strang. Look at your heart going. No, I... Like it's, it's, it's pathetic, pathetic right? really. I'm just saying, I just met you, but please. You think that I have a, oh, a rational crush on Dean Strang? Oh, dear God. Well, whether it's rational or irrational, it's, it's obvious, but... but what if Dean, I was going to say marry you? Dean's a great guy. Fuck and, Dean. And then yeah. Jerry, I don't really connect with him. So. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, so there are a lot of conspiracy theories floating around. Uh, I'm going to say a name, and you just tell me why they didn't do it. Okay. Let me tell you, first of all, why I'm unwilling to do this. Okay. Uh, first of all, it's unfair to the people that you're about to name. Number two. I was going to name Netflix. What do you say to the conspiracy theorists out there who think maybe you did it? Um, that's really entertaining, actually. Um, obviously, um, uh, just for their information, um, I have a um, alibi for the 31st of, of, of October. Well, it's because it's such a, a funny a question to uh, to answer. If you were to sext me, oh dear God! What adjectives would you use to describe me? Uh, I, I I wouldn't actually you sext you, and me. this is really, again, a fantastic question. But the respect that I have uh, for all women um, doesn't allow me to go down that road at all. I don't do that You've anymore. Grown up. We've uh, evolved. Uh, whether I've grown up or not, I've, I've uh, learned. You don't sex I've, I've, victims I've, of domestic violence. I don't sex anybody, much less victims of domestic violence, and so I wouldn't do that. I thought. Love him or hate him, Ken Kratz did what he felt he had to do to put a man he thought was guilty behind bars. But if Stephen Avery really is innocent, then there's only one person who knows the truth. You don't want to do this. I do not want to do that. Okay.